many of my friends actually come to me with minor bumps and bruises and are like, Riley, what's going on with this? And I'm like, you know I'm not a doctor, but I'll try to help you anyways. <laughs> My sister, she spent a lot of time in the hospital and that's where I first really got to see the behind the scenes of medicine. And then even just going once a year to my pediatrician, I was always interested in why they wanted to put me on certain medicines or why I needed a certain vaccine. There's not really one moment that I just knew that's what I wanted to do. It was more like a growing interest. My aunt has always been a really big proponent for getting involved in the medical field. So I talked to my aunt about how she went to New York to help out with the pandemic. She was actually in charge of like the COVID patients there. It was crazy like seeing some of her pictures that she sent of her full PPE gear. It's really inspiring hearing her talk about it because it's it, it was a big sacrifice for her to go do that and it's something that I hope that as I progress through my medical career, if the opportunity arises, that I would also want to go and make that sacrifice to help others. So I'm a swan, so I'm a student worker nursing assistant. Freshman year I lived on north side, so over here in Walton, Norm. And so every day as I would go to class, I would walk past Butyl, and then I eventually made my way in just to get a physical done. And so that was the first time that I really knew that there were students working here. And I was thinking, how the heck did y'all get here? <laughs> so then that's whenever I actually went and looked it up online and saw that they actually did hire students and were looking to start hiring again in the fall. And so that's when I first applied my sophomore year. So when I was hired last summer, our main job was to assist patients when they came in. We would take their medical histories, uh, take their vitals, and then assist our providers in any way that they need. So that, of course, was a normalcy up until about March. Then once March hit, I was reassigned to work in MC3, which is our respiratory clinic, which is where we would see anyone coming in with symptoms that could potentially be COVID-19. I wouldn't say that I was ever scared or nervous. I think my main feeling was just almost like a disconnect from the patients because everything was not face-to-face -face anymore and I didn't get to have that one-on-one -on -one time with them to really find out more about themselves, why they were coming in. So I think a lot of it is going to be learning how to really connect with someone over the phone because so much of health is probably going to move online after all this. I think we've really done the best that we can in these times. It's, there have been so many moving parts and I've been here through all of it. And some days it seemed like we were changing something every day. And so it really comes down to can you adapt and be able to still give that same level of patient care while also having to learn the newest way to treat someone or bring them into the clinic. How are we going to make it the safest for our patients? So. I think as far as how well we've done in adapting to this pandemic, I think, I think we've done the best that we can do. So. I'm Riley Jones, and this is my Aggie story.